Hello everybody and welcome back to Old School Gamer here. We are back here giving another video today. And so literally just the other day, January 10th, depending on when, whenever this video is uploaded, today or yesterday, Sony literally just announced the, um, a new PlayStation 4 console. It's not like a brand new console, sort of kind of it is. It's pretty much just a new color variant of the PlayStation 4 console. And this PlayStation 4 console is actually going to be the PlayStation 4 Slim. And they are actually calling this new PlayStation 4 console the Glacier White PS4 Slim. Reason why is because because the whole PlayStation 4 console is actually going to be white. And also the controller is also going to be Glacier White. Now I have pictures of all sorts of different sides of this PlayStation 4. And also the controller. I'm going to be having it brung up all throughout this video. Probably just here at the very beginning while I'm talking. And this is also going to be a very shorter video than normal than all my other videos. Probably just like 3 to 4 minutes long. There's really not too much to talk about. But Sony did just announce this new console literally today or yesterday. Depending on whenever this video was announced or uploaded. But they announced this console saying that it is only going to be released in the PAL region area saying that it's only going to release in Europe and also Japan and also the UK pretty much they are going to be selling it for 259 pounds in the UK and also 299 dollars um European dollars or European money I don't know what they call it there sorry and um we do not have a price range or what kind of price wherever it's going to be at in Japan but we could pretty much assume it's either going to be 250 or 300 or probably if they're lucky they're probably even going to get for 200 because Japan Japan gets all the good hookups with within gaming. They get it all. They get all the good freaking Square Enix games, fucking RPGs. They get everything that's related to gaming that we don't get. And also, Japan is also going to be getting a one terabyte console, which everywhere else that this new Glacier White PlayStation 4 Slim console is going to be releasing will not be getting a one terabyte hard drive. They will be getting a 500 gigabyte hard drive. But later on down the line, after they sell a few, probably like one, two, three, four months later, they are they will release a one terabyte hard drive with this Glacier White PS4 Slim. We can all pretty much safely assume that, and plus it also says that on a few websites I have. I have like three websites to hear, and all of them pretty much just say the same damn thing. But I'm going to let you know what all the um, release dates are going to be. There is no release date on the UK from what I see here. Give me one second, I'm going to look this up. No, there's no release date for the UK one just yet. But there is a release date for Japan and also Europe. But whenever it releases in Europe, it will be releasing on January 24th. So pretty much 14 days from now, or 13, depending on whenever this video is uploaded. And it will be releasing in Japan a, a total a whole month later on February 23rd. So these things are actually going to be having a good time span within them. We can pretty much safely assume that the US or North America will not be getting a PlayStation 4 Glacier White Slim console version anytime soon. We will definitely be getting it after the UK and Japan and Europe gets it for sure. Since they're going to be first be releasing in there, that's when they're going to be getting it first and we will probably, shit, we might just get it a year from now. Well actually, whenever they release the one terabyte console, and Europe and the UK, that's when I think we're actually going to get the Glacier White PS4 Slim console. Whenever they release the one terabyte console everywhere else outside of Japan is when North America will get it. I promise you. And if not, shame me on it. Put this in your watch later and, a, and in a, also a playlist to remember that I, am, that I am calling this out right now. That whenever the one terabyte console is released everywhere outside of Japan and Europe and UK. That is when US will get it. Sometime after that or as soon as they do that is when we're going to get it. Either sometime after or as soon as they do it. One of those. Now what is also really cool here that says on the Polygon website. Because they actually have more information than what the actual PlayStation website has. And also what Eurogamer has. They say here that the Glacier White PlayStation 4 Slim version console. Um, that is actually the very first color variant of any of the PS4 4 consoles at all. Because they are all, all... Every PS4 console or system actually has... The um the matte black cover. There's it is no different color than that. But I could be wrong on that because I am pretty sure Destiny actually released a P a white PlayStation 4 console, or no Uncharted did not. Not the um the PS4 or the um Uncharted Collector's Edition. That one might have been been white. But I don't know. But it says here that 
This is the first variant color of the PS4 4 Slim or any PS4 console at all. So I don't know. I could they could be wrong, but I think they're actually right because I do. Th because I think this is actually the first one, but I could be wrong on thinking of other things. I could be now other than um actually different type of variant colors playstation 4 actually did have a different type of playstation 4 system which was pretty much just like its own little design it was released with the i believe it was released with the deluxe edition of star wars battlefront it had darth vader's face on top of the on um, playstation which actually looked very cool my friend actually got he didn't really take good too good of care of it i believe he actually let his his dog fucking chew up the goddamn controller or whatnot but it came with a cool little playstation 4 like it was just the regular playstation 4 system it came out whenever star wars battlefront was first released it came out with that and um it was had darth vader on there on top of the playstation 4 and everything else was regular i don't think it made any type of different sounds whenever you turned it on or off or anything like that but the controller was also and it was like a regular PlayStation 4 controller, but like on the touchpad, how it would also have like PlayStation like on there or Sony or whatever engraved on there. It had Star Wars engraved all over on the touchpad and also the analog sticks were actually red, I believe. And the um, two buttons like X and square were red or blue and also like the square and triangle or circle were also white. Like two of those buttons were white and two of them were red. And also the um, the triggers were like red and blue, I believe. Which it was pretty cool. I... Th I'm this one I'm going from what I remember my cousin has it. I don't really look at it too much I haven't really played with it or anything like that but PlayStation 2 also did have other type of color variants I believe they had a white I do know they had a gray PlayStation slim though but I do believe all the fat PlayStations were black whenever they came out with the small PlayStation 2 is when they actually did come out with different colors and PlayStation 1 they first did release as a gray and then they f later on released as a white color PlayStation 1. But other than that, guys, I think I am going to end off the video here. I pretty much rambled on enough. This is a lot longer video than what I wanted it to be. But other than that, guys, I'm going to end off the video like I just said. If you guys liked it, don't forget to like, also upvote, because this is going to my vid.me channel. If you guys haven't tried vid.me, if you guys are YouTubers and you haven't tried vid.me, I suggest trying it out. It's a YouTube alternative. Fix It pretty much fixes all the YouTube's problem, like false copyright claims, demonetization, loss of subscribers, and everything like that. If you are a bigger YouTuber that has more than like five, ten thousand subscribers, the um, loss of subscribers pretty much counts to you pretty much goes to you because if you have less than that you pretty much just have to blame yourself on losing subscribers unless if you lose like over 10 or 20 of them in like one day then yeah you could blame it to all um, a subscriber purge or whatever but other than that you don't really need to blame it on that but other than that guys i want you guys to have a good day oh do not forget to subscribe also follow because this is going to my vid.me and also youtube channel but other than that guys now guys, don't forget to put your thoughts and comments down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think on this. Are you guys excited for the white PS4 console? Do you think it looks fucking sexy? I think it looks pretty sexy. Shit. I even want one. But other than that, I want you guys to have a good day, night, afternoon, whatever time you guys are watching this. As always, keep it old. It's going to catch you guys in the next video. Later, and as always, thank you for watching.